Hey, what's up guys? If you are watching this video, uh, you are probably preparing for an interview, so congrats to you. Uh, I am so proud of you for making it this far. Uh, for some of you, you might be applying with your resume to job applications and you're kind of scared or you're curious about how to prepare for an interview. So uh, this video is made for that. Uh, I'm going to prepare you for uh, just what to expect in a recruiter call as well as how to answer those questions and just how to ace this portion of the interview process. So when a company is interested in you, um, there's two ways that they typically reach out to you. The first way is that they'll email you. The second way is that they'll give you a phone call. Now, in both instances, my recommendation to you guys is to give yourself a little bit of time, right? Like you need time to prepare, you need time to practice. And so um, let's say they reach out to you on a Monday or a Tuesday. Just add on two days to that so that you have adequate time to practice. If they reach out on Monday, say, hey, I'm free on Wednesday to chat. How does that sound? And typically they won't question why you need an additional two days. Uh, they respect your personal life. And then two, they're also very interested in talking to you. Like you're a possible candidate, you're a possible fit for their data analyst or data scientist position. So yeah, give yourself a little bit of time when they ask you when you're available. All right, so you've booked some time with the recruiter. Super exciting, super nerve wracking as well. I'm fine. <laughs> in terms of what to do, in terms of how to prepare, um, this is what you should expect. So the first five to 10 minutes, the recruiter will typically tell you about their company. Uh, the next 10 or 15 minutes will be more so about you. They wanna get to know you. They wanna see what person you're like. They wanna understand the technical skills that you'll have. And then the last five minutes or so is gonna be a time where they'll give you um, just space to ask them questions like Q&A. A lot of people make the mistake of not taking the recruiter call seriously. They assume it's just a casual conversation where the recruiter tells them about the company and the next week they'll get to talk to the team. But that's not true. The recruiter call is where the hiring manager has told the recruiter what to look for in a candidate. They want to understand if you're the right fit. They want to understand if you have the technical skills to do the job. They also want to know if you're a very curious and interested person in doing the work that they have at the company. And so this is really a time where you have to shine and really impress the recruiter. I'm sensing you guys might be a little scared or nervous about how to ace these things. Don't worry, I've got your back. I've been through a ton of these myself. I've got the perfect tips on how to ace them. Let's get into it. The first tip that I have for you guys is just to listen. Um, the first five to 10 minutes that you'll be spending with the recruiter, they'll be talking to you about the company. They'll be telling you about the team, how big the data team is, how long they've been around. They'll also be talking about some of the goals of the data team. And here's the secret. The hiring manager has probably told the recruiter this stuff. The hiring manager has probably told the recruiter what to tell you in terms of what to expect to do on the team. And so you really need like a pen and paper or a pen and notebook and just write these things down so you can ask about it later. And so that's my number one tip. Like listen, jot notes in the first 10 minutes of the call. These notes are gonna be very useful in the second portion of your interview, which is when they're asking you about your skills. And so from your notes, if you, if you notice that they talked a lot about SQL, if you notice that they talked a lot about marketing, if they talked about presentation skills, then when you're answering these questions in the second portion, make sure you bring these skills up. Make sure you tell them that you have these skills as part of something you've done in the past. And that way they'll be very impressed because in the first 10 minutes, they're telling you what they're looking for. In the second portion, they're asking you about your skills. And so if you can marry the two, if you can kind of tell them that, hey, what you're looking for, what you need is I have those skills, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, like we absolutely need to pass this person along to the to the hiring team. Notes are also very important because at the very end of the call, they're going to ask you, hey, do you have any questions for me? Uh, is there anything I can answer for you? And so if you look back at your notes, maybe there's something that you're very curious about. And like I said before, they want someone, 
especially in a data person, they want someone who's very curious about their business, who's very interested in what they do. And so just having these notes will allow you to just naturally ask questions and they'll be like, oh, wow, like Robert is very interested in our company. Like we should interview him. Um, whereas at the end, if you don't have any questions, they'll be like, oh, gosh, like Robert isn't even interested in our company. Why should we pass them along to the hiring team? The second tip that I have for you guys is to research. Uh, what I mean by that is to look up everything you can about the company that you applied for. How long have they been around? What have they been known to do in terms of innovation? Um, also look up how data is used in their particular industry, right? If it's a marketing industry, look up how, do, how data is used for marketing. Look up how the latest trends in marketing involve these certain data technologies, these modeling, you know, techniques, whatever it may be, right? Like the more you know, the more prepared you will be in your recruiter call. And so research the heck out of everything. The third and final tip that I have for you guys is just the practice. Practice, practice, practice. We talking about practice. The more you practice, the more eloquent you will sound in the interview process. The more you practice, the more confident you will be when you are talking about your skills, when you're talking about the impact that you've made in your previous companies or previous internships, whatever it may be. Some ways to practice is just to ask a friend you can trust to give you an interview. Do some mock interviews, ask them to ask the questions that you typically get from recruiters, and then you can practice your story. You can practice how you answer the question that you messed up on before. You know, like the more you practice, like I said, the more polished you will be, the more confident you will be. A typical concern or question that my mentees have for me is, hey, what if I'm in the recruiter call and they ask me a question I just don't know? So like, let's say they're asking me about Python and I don't know Python. What should I say? And my advice to that is to talk about something similar to Python that you do know. So do you know SAS? Do you know R? Talk about those languages and how you can easily with, you know, with your experience with R and SAS that you can transfer those similar concepts to Python and you could pick up Python no problem. Um, in R, I've done statistical modeling, which I understand Python does as well. You guys might be looking for that. And so it's just kind of weaving it all together, even though you don't have that skill per se, you can you can learn it. And that's all they're really looking for. Now, there are some instances where Python is absolutely required. And so don't be discouraged. This is still feedback, right? Like, let's say, for example, in your past five, 10 recruiter calls, they've all asked you about Python. And you've been just telling each and every one of them that you know R, but you don't know Python. Well, this is kind of feedback to you guys. This is some brutal, honest truth that Python might be something you need to pick up and learn. And so don't be discouraged by this. If anything, you've learned that this is something you have to pick up, add to your skill set, because uh, Python seems to be the trend. That's it, guys. Those are the three, four tips that I typically use leverage for my recruiter calls. They're typically how I impress recruiters and how I ace those calls and move on to the interview stage. If you have any additional concerns or, or just questions in general, leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them. I promise. As always, please like the video, uh, subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss out on our future content. See ya.